Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate the support. Um, Ru uh, also agrees with that, huh, Ru? Yeah, what you said, Ru? You was just saying that, huh? <laughs> um, so, here is that kit guitar. Yeah, it took some time and uh, partial, uh, just you know, trying to get the time and also the courage to. Uh, push through and just hurry up and get it done. My son-in-law did have to wind up helping me because I needed his tools, every bit of them. Um, apparently, uh, uh, I just need to set it up and uh, solder it. And I think that's it, just to solder the uh, head, the jack. There was some issues with, uh, the, um, with the veneer uh, with my painting skills, uh, so, uh, or staining. Uh, you'll be able to see them. As you remember, it was a maple veneer, and I did film myself doing this, but I had to keep stopping because I had realized that this part right here on the bottom started bubbling up right here. So it sticks up. Like, you can hear it like potato chip almost. And uh, now I'm not saying that it's a flaw of the kit. Um, I read online that that is a possibility. The glue and all that, it makes it kind of, uh, it, 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 it pulls away from the glue and pushes it over to the thinnest part of the veneer and it just gets real dark and it's, it dries it out like it's really quick as it dries so I don't know uh, so I only put the one little stain uh, thing of stain on there that's it uh, crimson red uh, you can still see some of the uh, um, you know a little bit of the grain in there the pattern of the maple uh, flame um, and I'm okay with it. It's not a big deal. Uh, uh, so I don't want to. I don't want to say that that the kit quality or whatever was bad because I, this is my first kit. I have no idea. But I did go very, very light with the stain. I knew to go light because it was a veneer. But it still did that as it said. It looked great when I first applied it. And after about I don't know five minutes, I started noticing where's all this coming from? Why is this doing this? So anyway, I let it dry, and then I put like two coats of poly uh, clear over it and then that's it i haven't even sanded it i really don't even care much about that at this point and it sat for two weeks painted um so it's cured it's don't it's done what it's going to do i might you know lightly uh, rub it out a little bit you know something smooth it out a little bit i'm not sure but anyway the kit is done i'm happy to have it done um the hardware is installed i just need to wire this jack in uh, one of the screws uh, broke in half, putting it through the, uh, this ash is hard. <laughs> and uh, it broke that little tiny screw there. So um, I haven't drilled any of these holes. I'm probably just gonna have this one down there. Maybe just probably just this one or this one. And then maybe that one. I'm not gonna drill them all in. This guitar is gonna be, now if it turns out this thing plays straight neck and it plays and I'm just like in love with it, yeah, I'll start, to, I'll, I'll do more with it. But this was my first kit, you know, uh, I'm still excited and very fortunate to have won this and I do appreciate it. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm very excited about it still. It just took me a long time to get down to getting it together. Um, but here it is, I just wanted to show it and uh, apologize in advance that it, that it took, what, almost a year um, actually a year uh, to put it together since I got it so those uh, that weighed it here it is um, and uh, it's actually beautiful I don't have the neck um, screwed in I took it back off uh, because I had to go in and do other stuff um, and then you know get these on so the tuners are actually on now the nuts gonna have to be cut in more right I'm sure and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, wipe this engineered ebony fretboard and uh, polish the frets. I don't know what, there's some kind of something on them, but they're, they are goldish kind of tint, but I'll get those sanded up real nice and uh, get those as good as that they'll be. And then that's it, man. And then uh, we'll fire it up and see how it sounds and see what, what happens with it. All right. 
All right, guys. So thank you so much for stopping by. That's going to do it for this one. Just a little quick heads up. It's done. That's the ash body. Um, yeah, it's actually beautiful. Um, I really love it. Uh, maybe I can flip to show the other side here. Holding that. Yeah. See. You can see the little bit of uh, sheen there on it, on that bottom. Where I got that little bit of poly. a thin layer of poly in there. Yeah, a couple pieces there together. I really like it. I'm very happy with it. See, I got to get the springs on. Yeah, and that's going to be it. I'm not going to put anything on the back. I'm going to leave it like that. It's all natural. All right, guys. Whoops. Take care, and I shall see you on the next one. Peace.